there are so many places around the world that are, have woken up to this and protecting their citizens, but they're not protecting us. And we want a change. Something needs to be done. I want to get my health back. There are people today who want to get their health back. And this is not good enough. The response that we're getting here from the politicians, from the government, is an act of cowardice, an act of bullying and harassment. We have had enough yes. and we want to change. Yes. Yes. We want our smart meters removed. The time for action has come. Yes. We are fed up and we're not going to take no for an answer. And we're going to keep on, keeping on until a change is made. Sophia, uh, I understand your predicament is, is uh, different from others. You've uh, had a smart meter installed into your home. Uh, can you tell uh, us, oh, this is the first question of many, can you tell us uh, what happened in your world after the smart meter was installed? How it affected you and your daily routine and your manner of life? Thanks. Smart meter has been installed at my place on 19th of March last year. Without my knowledge, without me being at home, because I was on a business trip back then. Um, on 22nd of March, I came home, I slept in my bedroom, and since then, my ordeal, horrible ordeal started. I developed absolutely crucial headaches, um, nausea, lack of concentration, um, fatigue. I was unable to practically move during the weekend. I was dragging myself to work because I just was so tired all the time. I was trying to communicate with Gemina, with United Energy, over the phone, via emails. They refused my health concerns. They made a joke out of it. They said, you have to go and see another doctor. Um, only when I found out that I'm losing my eyesight, then I start doing investigation about the smart meters and I found out that these are the symptoms and these are the side effects of the microwave radiation that emits by the smart meter. Um, the pain became so unbearable that I just couldn't tolerate it anymore. And um, after negotiation with the United Energy, after Ombudsman, when Ombudsman requested United Energy to replace smart meter, or at least to switch off the pulses or take out the switch, United Energy refused to do any of this, so I placed the last phone call to United Energy on the 5th of October. I said, I cannot tolerate this torture anymore. Please remove the smart meter, please replace it. They said, no. I said, well, in this case, I will have to do it myself. And this is what I've done. I've arranged the smart meter removal on the 7th of October. Um, as, a, as a consequence, I didn't even expect it. The first morning I woke up, this was the first morning in six and a half months when I didn't have burns in my eyes. Um, in two weeks time, my health was improving, but then I bought the, another meter which has been sold to me as analog meter. I put it back in the same place and I went back to square one. So I had to remove it as well in January because I was in excruciating pain. Um, 3rd of March, I have been disconnected from, from the power, from the pole. Ombudsman sent a letter to United Energy requesting the information or reply within 15 business days. Um, I requested the help from federal MP. Federal MP spoke to Ombudsman and they said to her that if she would refuse the smart meter installation in the first place, she wouldn't be in this predicament, which I clearly had signage at my property. Don't fit smart meter, no trespassing, which has been removed and the smart meter installed. And um, so after long negotiations going through hell, United Energy acknowledges my health concerns and offered to install manual red interval meter without the transmitting device. 14th of March, they confirmed again via letter, and they said that this decision has been made together with the business, uh, with the Department of Business and State Innovation. And 19th of March, they sent another letter stipulating the steps I have to undertake in order to get electricity connected with manually red meter. The community spent $1,700 to relocate the meter box, 
and uh, on 26th of March, United Energy reneged on their decision and withdrew their offer. Right. Okay. So now I'm in the 12th, today is 12 weeks, we live without power. We're going to be going in to see Mr. Noor soon, uh, to be secretary, to um, ask that uh, your power be restored to your house, that uh, United Energy would follow through with their commitment and that uh, you would be uh, given a, uh, a, a digital manually read meter. How do you feel about that? That's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so that's, I would we want your power back. There you go. <laughs> I want my power back as well because it's it was really, really hard journey, especially for my daughter. Yeah. Um, she was doing her homework using the candles. You can imagine, 21st century, Australia, democratic country, we're using candles. Nobody wants to know about us. Nobody wants to listen to us. Um, I'm now on disability pension due to my sickness, which is electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So what are my chances? I lost my health, my employment, my life. In July uh, 2012, I had a smart meter installed. Within half an hour of having the smart meter installed, I started getting massive amount of pressure at the temples of my head. I've never suffered headaches in my life before. This was ongoing for about a week until the stage where I couldn't sleep, couldn't function, I couldn't even count change. And further research I found that it's a, uh, the symptoms are very much uh, consistent with anybody that uh, does have EHS or is sensitive to, uh, to microwave radiation. Um, so the smart meter was fired up, I started to get crook. Uh, I started to do a bit of research. Every morning waking up in my own bed with headaches. Now I'm in a two-story house so it got to the stage I'd sit there and maybe look and see how many times my smart meter was actually emitting signals to the tower but due to the fact of where the tower is and where the population of Tarogan is down the east end um, I'd suspect that I'd be getting constant communications to and from the tower over an eight or ten hour period, how long you want to stay in bed, it's not eight hours now I tell you. Consistent waking up with headaches. Now what I found was that if I spent more than one or two nights in my own bed, the condition got worse, it wasn't just headaches. I'd wake up, I'd feel like uh, I'd been out in the sun the day before. Um, uh, my mouth would be dry, my skin would be dry. And the catalyst for me to make a decision to move away from my bed was to wake up one morning with ringing in my left ear. Now I've had that about three times. And on the research, tinnitus apparently is another symptom that people do suffer. Right. This has all been brought about by somebody's idea of bringing a smart meter. The, the studies are definitely not... They, the jury's still out. I think the jury actually is swinging to the stage that people are very, very aware that these things cause you health issues. I've never had headaches before, so it's a real, um, a real bugbear for yeah, me yeah, to... But Anyone else? Yeah, that's right. And a lot of people that are here will be in that position. That's why they're here today, because they know that their health's been affected, but nobody wants to listen. Uh, Pete, this is, uh, Peter recently had a smart meter installed in his home in Churchill. And uh, Peter, since the smart meter was installed, can you tell me uh, what effects you've had and how it's affected your life? Absolutely. Uh, smart meter not only the smart meter in the home where I'm staying, but smart meters that in my immediate vicinity have destroyed my life. A, a plethora of, of problems physically, ranging from nausea, stomach, acute stomach pains, headaches, tinnitus, and uh, so many other things that I could just speak about. Um, it, it's difficult to sleep. I haven't slept properly in seven days. I'm not able to sleep inside the house where I'm living in and no one and nothing is being done about it. No one is, is, is doing anything about it. The government doesn't care. And they don't care as long as it's not happening to them. As long as it's not affecting them, they won't do anything about it. And I'm fed up and I have been sleeping in my car to try and get away from this area of 10 kilometers in my car. And I, I can't go on like this. I, I need to spend time with my wife, my children. I haven't been working properly for five months. I've lost my savings. And what are they going to do about it? Yes. Something needs to be done. There are people here today who are suffering in, 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 in various different ways. And the problem is it doesn't affect everybody the same way. Everyone will have different symptoms. And the problem is 
You go to a doctor, they think you're nuts. They think you're crazy. They say towers don't do this. If the, the government wouldn't allow this. That's what they say. But the, the, this case is real. The problems are real. Can you share with uh, the community at large what has taken place in your life since you've had uh, the smart meter installed at your flat? And also, uh, can you share a little bit about the history with the minister here that you've been dialoguing with him in, in writing and you, you've expressed to me that you're not really saying that you've received a, an appropriate response from him. So can you share your testimony please about uh, the effects from the smart meters? Thank you. Yeah, since they put the smart meters in my place, I've got two of them at my place. I haven't been able to sleep in my bedroom since then. I've tried, I just can't sleep there. All I get is headaches all the time. I'm on blood pressure tablets now, which I never ever had blood pressure in my life. I've had regular medical checkups. I've been good right up till I've had the smart meds put in. I'm now on 80 mil blood pressure tablets, which is quite a high dose. And, um, you know, it's just constant headaches everywhere I go. And the other problem is uh, you can't sleep too. I can't sleep in that room. And it got to the stage, even at my girlfriend's place, I couldn't sleep in her bed neither because she's got a smart meter there too now. So I've been sleeping on the couch there for about nine months. And then in late January, early February, they must have turned on another smart meter tower in Maui, and I could not sleep at all in that area. My stomach muscles just tense up, and I cannot sleep at all. And yet, you know, I've written to Russell North, I've wrote to the Express, I've written to the Herald Sun, and no one doesn't want to know about it. They don't want to know if this is a serious issue, affected people's lives in so many ways, and yet no one's doing a single thing. Russell North behind us, he coming out now. No, he doesn't want to know us. He's, he promised he'd see me in the next week or so. I'm still waiting at my place. And last time I tried to see him when I wrote him a letter, he referred it to the other minister. Well, now he's the minister, and he doesn't want to know about it. And yet, we're the guinea pigs, you know, we just, we just get treated like rubbish. And at the end of the day, when people are um, impacted in terms of health, ultimately that will come back onto the state of Victoria. Absolutely. Someone, somewhere will have to take responsibility, and is it going to be the power companies? I would suggest not, because they will try and weasel their way out of the issue. But I, I think it'll probably be the Victorian government, and therefore it'll be the Victorian people who pay for something that they, the impacts of something they never wanted installed in the first place. We think precautionary measures is the way to go and that these meters need to be disabled uh, so that to give these people a chance in life, uh, a chance to have a better life, a chance to have their health restored. The way, what, this government's crazy! We know Wait, that. This nut, it's madness yeah. to, to allow us to have WiMAX Wi-Fi smart meters put in our home is just unbelievable.